Girl, so that's how you kept me waiting yesterday, Abby. My dear, I'm sorry. The client didn't get back to me again. Hmm. So? 6 p.m. today. Can you make it? Rendezvous? I'll test it to you. See you later. Sorry, it's just one of those moments. One of those moments your attention is drawn to a beautiful lady, even with one sitting in front of you. How does your beauty and your beautiful affect my life? <laughs> oh, Lord, do. Yeah. Mm. So which one of them? The one wearing white. Mm. You sure know how to make your pick. What now? Um. Sis, I was hoping you could. Uh -uh. I'm sure not playing your cards for you. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't need you to play my cards for so? you. So? I just need you to tell me one or two things. Isolate the target or get me the target contact. That's all. Mm. Option two sounds better. Beautiful ladies. Hi. I'm sorry, but I couldn't help notice your beautiful outfit. Thank you. My designer made it. Oh, really? Could you link me up with your designer? Yeah, sure. Why not? Lara. Emily. Debbie. Mm. Mind if I? I love your hair. Thank you. What are you girls having? Good day, sir. Please, I was hoping you can help me with information about a certain lady who was here yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry. I wouldn't need any information about it. I think the guys on duty yesterday will be able to help you. So what's up now? Simple task. You can't do it. Ron, Phil, you weren't expecting me to play local, were you? But you've had over 24 hours now. So what do you have for me? Target just happens to be one of the biggest event planners in town. Perfect. She's currently working on an event for the state government. That's why she was at the restaurant last night. I think I know what to do. So fast? Man, you got to learn to make it while the sun shines now. Yeah, sis, thanks man, you're the best. Mwah. Bro, thanks, yeah?
You know, I've been thinking maybe we should invite some guest artists. Now you're thinking what I've been thinking. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this event is all about culture, and I'm not really the culture type. That's your forte. Girl. <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you trying to call me passe? <laughs> no, I don't get it. No, you know I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can leave that to me. I still keep in touch with my roots. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Any word from Lara? Mm. Yes, I have. It's funny you asked, because I'm supposed to meet with someone she linked me up with today. Okay. I think it's a brother or something, I'm not sure. Her brother? I hope it would be as fun to be with as Lara. I hope so too. I don't know. You know Lara is such a nice girl. I mean, you know, we've known for just a month and it's like I've known her all my life. Aww. She's such a beautiful creature. <laughs> Okay, um, so, what's the meeting all about? I think he's trying to plan some event and he wants me to be in charge. I said, I don't know, I'll find out today. Uh, 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 uh. I love Christmas. No oh, shit, you better. This <laughs> <laughs> program. Oh. <laughs> Hey. Hello, Emily, uh, Emily Vance. Yeah, yummy chocolate consultant. Nice to meet you. Okay. Thank you. So, are you usually late for appointments? Only when my client is 15 minutes early. Forgive my impulsiveness. It's okay. You look like you're dressed for a date. And you look like the date. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Um, just a minute. What would you like to have? Um, I think I'll just have what you're having. Yeah. Waiter. You got something on your mind? Nothing. Just um. Come on, you're so transparent. You know that. <sighs> I've got you, bro. Hmm? Come on, spill. It's just um. I met this baby a couple of days ago, and I just can't seem to get her out of my mind. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Bad, bad. I don't mean it bad. <sighs> okay, so what's it gonna be? Are you going to let her walk or are you gonna pursue it? I already set the ball rolling. Just hope it hits the net. You better be patient so the ball doesn't roll back at you. Okay. 
How much is my bill? I'm sorry, man. Someone already paid for them. What do you mean, someone already? I here alone. Yes, but I know. I, like I said, someone already paid for them, and they've been recorded. Sorry, did this person tell you? No, the person didn't. Some person that paid for them. Thank you. Sure. Have a nice day. So you do know that um, this is our last meeting, right? Until later the event, that is. Since you're okay with all the plans, aren't you? Are you in the habit of not going for events you plan? I'd really love to, but in this case, I have to listen to my body. I must rest. Well, I was hoping we could catch up at the party. So, get some rest and um, do a little exercise too. You could practice um, walking. Meditation and mindfulness. It really does help. And now you're sounding like a therapist. Oh, not really. I try to do it every day and I haven't regretted it. Hmm. Well, I'm not the kind of person to work out every day. I work out sometimes, but not every day. I've also heard about meditation, but I, I haven't tried it yet. How about you and I go to the gym and practice meditation together? Sounds like fun. I mean... Next time you wouldn't have to pick me up or drop me off. If that's what you want. That's what I want. Okay. It seems like you're having a hard time making a pig. Um, actually, I just haven't found what I'm looking for. Perhaps I could help. Perhaps. Yeah, just tell me exactly what you want. Uh, maybe you can just point me in the direction of your latest collection. Okay, this way. I'll just go inside and you guys just be here, okay? okay Let me, so. yeah, I'll, I'll bring it to you. Let's just wait here. Yeah. The moment I feel uncomfortable, you would definitely see me by your side. <laughs> you <know why> I <laughs> Lara. <laughs> okay, don't be long. Do you know, this was where we met. You and Amy? Yeah. She was here to pick a package that was sent to her for her birthday. Okay. And I was here to send the package to my brother. Oh. Man. 
the kill daddy was killing. You know, we just sat down and took away the border. So, she invited me for her birthday the next day. Oh, when was that? I mean the birthday. Um, 23rd November. 23rd? A month away. That's pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Babe, that was quick. Yeah. So, what were you guys talking about? Uh, <laughs> I was just telling her how we met her. Right. <laughs> You're such a gossip. <laughs> Looks like you're tired already. Yep. I'm not your regular workout kind of girl. Yeah, it's apparent. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, no meditations today, okay? At least not this morning. I'm running on fumes right now. Empty. I was thinking we we're going to do that in the evening. If it works. I don't know. Maybe. Bye. Um, did, did I tell you we have another party to plan? Yeah, for a special friend. Okay, you sure do love to party. Does that mean you're going to plan a party? Why not? If you're giving me the money I want, I mean, it's my job. Name your price then. Right. But before I do so, I would like to ask a few questions. Nothing serious, just to help me prepare the party and just plan it better for you. Okay then. So, what kind of party are we looking at here? Birthday party. Okay, any specific activities in mind? Nope, just um, anything fun. Just want people to have a good time. And I'm sure you know how to handle that. Thank you. But do you have any particular results you want to achieve at the end of the party? Um, I'll be able to answer that question at the end of the party. Yeah. <laughs> good choice. Um, this special friend, do you think should like a cocktail party or... An elaborate one? Something in between. Okay. What is your relationship with this friend? She's a special person. A very special someone. Okay. Um, all right. What's her favorite color? Hmm. Yeah. Typical of you guys. You never pay attention to details. Red. She likes red. Wow. You are quite the man. You've impressed me. Do I? Very much. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Yeah? Alright. Okay. Like I said, don't try to be perfect. Just relax and focus on your breathing. Take longer inhales and shorter exhales. Now close your eyes. And just focus on your breath. Good. It's possible your thoughts begin to drift and you wander into different thoughts. That's not meditation. Just focus on a particular thing. This time, it's our breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale.
<laughs> Lara, hey God, that you're gonna get wicked plans. Oh my God, that guy is so romantic. That's yummy for you. He does that to even me. Wow, like you just get so comfortable around him. It's amazing. I, mean, I don't want to disappoint him, especially in the food aspect. Hmm. Girls, for me, I would like me to do assorted dishes. Like um, something like me would mix African food with Weibo food. That one I Swallow must follow. Before Uncle, you and we won't do only fork and spoon. Hey, hey, me, I go mold my swallow weller. Hmm. If possible, sir, we feel even add pan diam with different soups. No, be if possible, Matao. Pan de diam go di. I'm mala and <laughs> You know, all this kind, you know, different soups from different cultures. We feel make like five different types. Soup. With the knobs and gemenge inside them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Even the meat safe. We feel down your bar pattern. You don't go your bar pattern before. <laughs> hey, they are meat, eh? they big like this, your hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we go do a more wish, wish like Momo Shaki, you know. Do a big, big cuts. Hmm. You know that kind of way we say as you put hand inside there, the meat go follow you, they drag your swallow. <laughs> Makes sense. I think it's a great idea. Mm -hmm. It's a great idea. Definitely swallow. But you know, your me's big on drinks now. We cannot disappoint him. We have to also think about drinks. That one has small thing now. You know, if you do assorted drinks, mix traditional African beers and um, uh, foreign drinks. Yeah, we should mix the wines with some of our local beers. Then we'll have non alcoholic wines, juice, drinks for people like me that don't do alcohol. Mm -hmm. oh, people like me. Glory. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we'll have non-alcoholic drinks. Let me quickly write that. Great okay. idea. Yes. Let me write that down. Okay. okay. Wow. So. Hey, honey. What's so. up? Good. Working. Okay, so I've been um I've been thinking about my thirtieth birthday. And um I was thinking maybe we could spend it together alone. No family, no friends, just the both of us. What do you think? Sounds good. Um, so? Babe, can we talk about this a little later? Alright. Sure, no problem. Come on, babe, don't be like that. We'll talk about it later. Madam, good morning. Yeah, morning. Madam, one of the guys said, Make I give you this bag. Who? Uh, you know, tell me your name. Just make I tell you happy by day. What's inside? I never check. I don't know. I never check. Let me have it. Thank you. John? Madam. Um. The next time someone comes to look for me, please tell them I'm not home. Okay, madam. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, madam. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.
if you and I will keep me always suffocating. Never coming close your papa to police. I'm searching for my father. But you always on the run. Yeah. Oh my God. Of you and I will keep me always suffocating. Never coming close your papa stay police. I'm searching for my father. But you always on the run. Yeah. Oh my god. Problem. Says the organizer of the party has barely taken part. Seems like people have different definitions of the word fine. See, I know how badly you want Emily to be here, and I'm sure she has the reasons for not coming. But then our celebrant is in there, so you and Emily can catch up later. Okay? Whatever it is. Emily! How are you? Very well. Hey, thank you so much. Friendly, someone has good eyes for dresses. <laughs> right. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Thank you. As you know, we don't and we can't decide those who would meet on our journey. Sometimes they come to us and sometimes we go to them. But we always choose those who would stay. And like a wise man once told me, it's best to choose those who bring us joy and happiness to stay in our lives. Here we are tonight celebrating a special, special person, a very special friend, someone who has brought joy and happiness to one or two people here. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me as we celebrate Emily. Happy birthday, Emily. Come on. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Derry. I should be asking what the meaning of this is. I knew I surprised you. You did not surprise me. You embarrassed me. I embarrassed you. 
How? Listen, I'm a married woman. And how do you even make me plan a party for myself and you don't even tell me? You know what? This conversation is not done, I promise you. Hey man, you don't look good. Yeah, everything is fine. Just a piece of information I wish I had gotten some other time. Where is Emily? She. Here you are. Interesting. Oh. Okay, man, um, let me leave you guys here. Let me go get the ladies busy, yeah? All right, go. You never told me this was your plan all along. I feel that based on your current relationship with the target, you might compromise confidential information. You're sure going to pay for keeping me in the dark? Your intel was sorted. I would reward you accordingly. Mm-hmm. I sure know how to collect that which I'm owed. Let's go back to the party. Yes. Now. I'll join you, I'll join you. No. I'll join you. No, join we are going. You. You're me.
Surprised to see you here, man. Yeah, how are you? Yeah. Hola. And where's Yemi? I'm sorry, man. Yemi stepped out with his friend a while ago. Isn't that his car over there? Yeah, his friends came to pick him up. Right. But Lara is around. She's been around since the past. Great. I'd, I'd like to see her, please. Hey, girl. I'm here to see Yemi. Where is he? Yeah, he stepped out with his friend. Mm. You know, I was thinking about who told Yomi about my birthday. I want to also give him the guts to throw me a party. And you know who came to mind? Amy, I don't understand. You, Lara. You came to mind. <laughs> Can you calm down and come inside? I'm not here to come inside. Please. You listen to me, Lara. Whatever relationship we have gives you and your brother no right to throw me a party. Can you please stop this and tell me what's going on? At least let me have an idea. Let me just tell you now, I'm disappointed in you. Are you, are you guys trying to ruin my marriage? Is that what you're trying to do? Don't worry, I know what to do. You're married? Oh, please. She's married. And I'm sorry I wasn't at home when you came to see me. I came as soon as I could. I didn't come to your house to see you, Yami. I came to talk about the party. Please, let's not talk about the party. Let's please. not talk about really. The only reason why I sat down there was because of my friends, and I did not want to make a fool out of you. But what you did was absolutely wrong. I'm sorry, Emily. You didn't mean to do what, Yummy? Did I ever tell you that I was unhappy? I needed you to make me happy. Did I? Emmy, I wasn't trying to make you feel bad at all. Everything I did, I did out of the best intentions. Well, you should have at least sought my consent before you embarrass me like that. My God, Yomi, what is wrong with you? But I am married. And that could have gone wrong in so many ways. You can't imagine. It wasn't necessary. Emily. I never knew you were married. If I did, we wouldn't be having this conversation. And that's the only reason why we're having this conversation. And why I would not hold it against you. That means a lot to me. <laughs> you sure do know how to treat a lady though. I have to give it to you. You know what? I have to get back to work. Let's have this conversation some other time. Whenever you're ready. Sure. John. Brother, good morning. Morning. Who are these from? Uh, now, what brother said, I'll give you. What brother who? I ask him, you don't tell me. But you say that your guys said, I'll give you. John, why are you in the habit of collecting things from people without finding out their names? Uh, uh, I, I, I ask him the name. You know, tell me. I said, my sticker, I can't give you. Sergeant, madam. Uh, madam, they try to fit you. I know you love this girl, Yomi, but you just have to stop. She's married and you know it. Oh, why are you sounding as if I'm doing it? I know nothing has happened between you two, at least not yet. But you just know how to make a girl fall for you and I fear she might if you keep up with this trait. Is that how you've been falling for me? I'm serious here, Yomi. God, you could be so stubborn. <laughs> See, Lara, I'm not going to deny that I don't have feelings for her. But she's married, and I get that I can only be in the friend season, and that's cool. You know, but I just don't feel she's happy in this marriage. And that's not for you to decide. Her marriage and happiness is no business of yours. Really? Yes. All I'm saying is, 
she deserves to be happy. I, I want her to be happy. I'm not trying to assume the role of a husband or anything. Yeah, I just want to be a friend. Stop looking at me like that. Let's make this food out there. I'm starving. Are you again? Bros, good morning. Good morning. Who parked that car there? I did. So, as you park that car for that place now, if my madam or my ogre won't enter inside or go outside, let them go follow. Just be for nothing. Can it be a no brain? I'm sorry. I just wanted to give this to your madam. I'm not going to take that gift. I'm not going to take it. But why? My madam talks safe. Anybody where I don't know, or I don't know the person's name, make her not collect anything from her. Ah, uh, but just to give, just give it to her, she will understand where it's from. Who is from? Who be the east way from? Tell her it's from Yomi, she will understand. Yomi. Now the Yomi, now your name be that, I've been your boss. My boss. So now I want on this place now to garden of it, them, have you? John? Who is there? Madam, now this bros, we want on our, sorry, your compound to Garden of Eden. John, please let him in. Uh, Madam, he said no one enter. Say, you just want to drop the thing, go I back. said, let him in. Uh, okay. Your plan don't work now. Take. Wait till they bring the flower come here. Bread, they know how they come. Hello, Kola. How are you, Kola? I'm fine, So sorry about John. He does that a lot. Uh, I understand. I know he's doing his job. Yeah. I have something for you. Okay. Um, please come in. I have something for you, may as well. Okay, Kuala, please, eh? just take it seat. I'll be right back. Okay, but I have some other errands to run. I understand, but you know you need to still at least sit down while I get you the stuff, right? Okay. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Alrighty, Kola. Here you go. By the time your bus opens, you'll know what's inside. Shall I work? Alright, thank you. Okay. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Bye. So, do you always get what you want? Well, it depends on what I want. What I want right now is for me to eat. And if I don't want to eat? Well, you just have to sit there and watch me eat. So much for all that gentle man act. No, not really. I was expecting you to invoke your... Power of a woman. Exactly. Mm -mm. Mm. So tell me, how did you manage to know that my favorite color was red? Especially since we had only met once before I asked a question. You don't have to wear a color all the time for it to be seen as your favorite color. Sometimes the color is just in the background and um, when you pair it with other colors, it's, it's just conspicuous. So I just realized that um, what color really stands out for you when I ask myself the question? And it was red. Forgive me, lady, but I love details, so I love to pay attention. <laughs> you know so much about me, but I barely know anything about you. I am Yomi. I'm an open book. So just um, flip through the pages of each book and you find all the details you need to know about me. Right. Tell me, are you always this way with your women, or is it just me? I learned to always treat a lady right but i also learned that a special lady deserves special attention like the message stated we have limited 
time to get this system up and running. Otherwise, we are looking at a major blow to the company. Yes, um, we shouldn't have waited this long till you called me, till all your main servers are affected. Um, like I said, I've, I've booked a flight, so I'll be up there first thing tomorrow morning. Please, we are sorry for the inconveniences this may cost you. We're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. It's okay. Just have your IT person call me so that I can put them through some measures to protect the company's information. And um, just tell them not to do any system upgrade whatsoever. Um, I need to talk to him, find a way to make sure that your company's information is still secure before I come tomorrow to fix it. So just have your IT chief call me, that's fine. All right, yeah. Okay. have to wake me up. It's a phone call and you could have ignored it. Mm, maybe I should just cut it right now. Shouldn't At least I've already said good morning. Alright then. Goodbye. I have to catch him sleep. Leave me alone. It's 6.17am. So, I'm self-employed. I'll be traveling tomorrow, but I'll be back in two days. When I'm back, you're going to get a special treat from me. Mm. I wonder what this truth is going to be this time. Let's wait till I get back. I've learned to wait patiently like a bird. The vulture is a patient bird. James Hardy Chase. Never knew you were fun. There's a lot of things that you don't know about me. Alright, Yumi. Good morning, good day, have a great day, goodbye. Thank you for staying in my sleep. Show's about to start. Let me just where's the remote? Great. No 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 This is the best part, this is the best part. Stop it, give me. Well I need to watch what I want to watch. Let me give you the one, please. Well you have to get it back with a kiss. <laughs> not a chance, okay? Today you're not getting anything for the remote. Give it have it. You're so unromantic. And you're so distracting. See, I missed it. I have to rewind it. Oh, come on! Come on, you love the girl. Stop, stop, stop denying her. Just kiss her already.
Hi, honey. Sarah, how are you doing tonight? I'm not fine. I miss you. I love you. I'm sorry, dear. I miss you too. It's funny. Can I call you back? I'm kind of busy right now. <sighs> How soon are you going to call me back? Can't say. But I'll call you as soon as I can. Love you, dear. And. I love you too. Thank God it's not that serious. Not that serious? And my body feels like I've been crushed by a truck. You were trying to be an amazing spider woman, no? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so, um, what do you have for food in this house? That's the problem. I hadn't made anything before the accident. How about I make you dinner tonight? You make me dinner? Uh -huh. No thanks, I'm okay. So what are you trying to say, that I can't cook or what? I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying that I'd like to recover from this before I add another one to it. Try me. <laughs> no thank you. But you can make me oat, I'll be fine. I want to cook. I want to cook. Looks like you're not going to take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. The kitchen is over there. Go ahead. Get ready for a yummy and tasty dinner. Oh, yes, yes. Woo! So I don't burn my house down, no? <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> Babe. Honey, hmm? can you please help me make breakfast? Babe, I can't. Okay, I've got a meeting at 8 a.m. Hmm? But it's just 6 a.m. It's still time. I have to finish this presentation, take a shower, get in the car, and I don't want to get stuck in traffic. Okay? Some other time, please. Breakfast is served. He made me dinner and now breakfast. It's fair, I did what I did. I'm sure you did the same if the tables were turned. I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I um I shouldn't have done that. I uh, I, um, I, 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 I I I think I better get going. Um, and I'm sorry. It's it's totally my fault. Um,
How long are we going to continue like this? Listen, whatever happened was not your fault, okay? It was an impulsive act. One I could have avoided. If there's anybody who should be blamed, it, it should, should be, be me. me. Yami, yeah, listen, I... I just want us to forget about everything that happened and be friends again. There's really no need for this fight. Huh? You haven't even spoken to me in over a week. I'm sorry I didn't take your calls. I just... I just needed to get over the moment. You know what? I forgive you. And you just... You need to forgive yourself. What happened was not your fault. When was the last time you went to the salon? <laughs> no, you did not just go there. You look like you need to get fixed up. So how about you choose a salon and I take it there tomorrow morning? Okay. Awesome. You know what? I know just the place. You never stop, do you? Mm -mm. <laughs> it's good to have you back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait, no, wait, wait. This is it for you. Even we are all laughing. What was that job I even thinking? Can you mind him? Because he says that I'm a girl, he wants to try and show me his power. So the road has turned his family house where he can prove that he's a man of the house, eh? Probably because he saw we're all young ladies, so we should show some respect to an elder, I guess. Well, that is madness. Rubbish. You don't just come to the public and you know begin to act as if no one else matters. Yeah. If he had even honked mm -hmm. before trying to enter your lane, that would have been better. Mm -hmm. But this one is just swerved like... I've been diesel, Lagos Drift. No, no it's more Lagos Drift, my sister. <laughs> yes, eh? If I tell Yomi about this, he's so going to laugh at me. Uh-uh. You're Mike. Yeah, he usually calls me the generous driver on the road. I don't understand. Um, 
Well, we've been hanging out a lot of recent, but nothing much, nothing much. We are just friends, nothing much, okay? He even came to see me that time I had the accident, yeah. And he made me dinner. He only prepared you dinner. I swear. Ah, uh, uh, nah, babe. That was rather too much. Ladies, <laughs> calm down. Like I said, we are just friends, all right? We're just hanging out and like, being really good friends. I'm sorry, both of you are not around all week, so. Uh -huh. Dummy, you have to stop this. She's married, you have to stop. You're taking this too far. I'm taking what too far? You buy her gifts. You take her out every now and then. You even cooked her dinner and breakfast. Don't you know these treatments can make her develop feelings for you if she hasn't already? Stop, stop ranting now. I know what I'm doing. Yes, you do. But when it gets to that point when she falls madly in love with you, when she starts desiring you, do you think you can stop her? Do you think you can resist the temptation that follows? So that's what's about. Yes, that's what this is all about. She's married. You mean she's stop married? Stop shouting. She's married. Stop shouting. And don't fuck like you're in Yummy. Really? Wow. Oh my gosh, Kelvin, this is so beautiful. So much emotions in one picture. <sighs> Must cost a fortune, I'm sure. You seem to have a high for heart. <laughs> Trust me, if only my hands could reconcile with pencils and brushes, you'd be looking at an artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, some of us just value aesthetics. I was never really into art until recently. Right. Well, some are born naturally with it, while some have to wrestle with it till it becomes a passion. Yeah, you know, staining ink on canvas is one crime I would love to commit any day. Wow, tell us about it. Mm -hmm. Wow, good. Uh, excuse me, guys. I've got to take a call. Hmm? Sure, break a leg, help me. So, you know, my dad used to be a painter. Really? Mm hmm. He wanted me to take after him, but I just wasn't the one. My brother was. I have good eyes for arts and good instincts, but I just don't have the skills. So many things my father wanted, but it just never really happened. And so many things you want to keep, but you just have to steal a glance. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, someone looks like he just got good news. One of my clients just came through. Sounds like they did. Nice. Yeah. You just don't forget to pay your taxes. Hmm. See the tax collector who doesn't pay tax. What? You guys, before you start to expose each other, <laughs> Kelvin, yeah. I learned that an artist's best works so are usually kept away from public view. So, mm. do you deem us fit enough to view your best works? <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. Ooh, yay! <laughs>
How are you? Not bad. How was your trip? Not bad, not bad. I saw your missed calls, so I'm sorry I didn't oh. attend them. Oh, it's fine. I, I'm sorry I wasn't home when you came back. I was at um, art exhibition with a friend and I, I, I just... I had to sleep over at her place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was really worried and very lonely. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Why don't you go upstairs and um, see what I got you? Really? Yep. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> Let me just. Okay. All right, baby. Yes. Um, in the room? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're so sweet. Like it? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I love you. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. So, how was the um, art exhibition? It was good. Just art. Art. Yeah, good. Hmm. Did you um buy any art? Um, no. Did not. How strange you. It was by art. Come on, boys, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Honey, you didn't even say anything about my birthday. Hmm? My birthday. Oh, how was it? How'd it go? Never mind. Yeah, how'd it go? It's a male. I told just no man. Come on. Never, just never play football properly. You know I can tell when something is bothering you. So just save me the stress and spill it out, please. What is it? My husband is back. Did he? No. We're fine. I'm okay, it's just... It's just this I'm concerned about. This has to stop. We can't keep seeing each other frequently. If that's what you want. You can't send me any gifts, any treats, any flowers. Good night texts, good morning texts. They all have to stop. Hear me, look at me, please. This is my husband we're talking about. So, we're just gonna pretend nothing ever happened between us, despite how we feel about each other. So I'm going to leave a holy man for the rest of my life because my heart can't it. Yeah, it just hurts me more than it hurts you. I'm a prisoner of my vows. I'm stuck in a relationship that pays no attention to my emotional needs. And you know what? I have to wake up every morning and pretend like I'm happy and satisfied. And it kills me. I will forever be a shadow of my own soul.
got on the train without a ticket. And now I'm being torn off the train. Being torn off at the next station. This shows how foolish I am. Thanks to love. Ah, John. Ah, uh, Oga? John. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Sorry. I can see that you are really enjoying your music. Yes, sir. We say much of you are good body. Welcome, sir. Um, this is for you, I am. For being a very good get man. Hey, thank you very much, sir. Thank you too much. I'm going to give you two hands salute. God welcome, bless you, sir. Welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, sir, my sister's on your size. I just say you plenty. <laughs> thank you, John. Eh? Alright, thank you, sir. Alright. Oga, thank you very much. Oh, boy, my shoe don't shine. My shoe don't shine. My shoe don't shine.
Are you Toby K. Chico? Who's asking? Inspector Akanka, you are a prime suspect in the murder of Yomi Adidu. Well, we'll witness place you in the scene of the crime and we would like you to come with us. <laughs> 